Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 108 of Isolate, Meditate, Create. My name is Jessica Lynn Johnson. I am the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo, a company dedicated to the direction and development of one person place. So welcome to IMC. Uh, the purpose of this is to join us together in creative community, do a little self-care, and um, yeah, just get those juices flowing with our solo shows once a week. So um, please make sure that you have something nearby you um, to write with and write on. And um, I also want to say that uh, sometimes what comes up for us in this experience can be triggering. And if you do find yourself triggered and you need to hop off the call, I completely understand. If you need resources beyond that to um, help you move through those emotions, I do have a wonderful list of resources. So just reach out to me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com and I will connect you with those things. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with meditating. So make sure you're in a comfortable seated position. And again, that you have something nearby you to write with and write on so that as soon as we're done meditating, you can pop right into writing. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. <clears throat> and just start to let everything slow down. And just focus on your breath. Deep breaths in, audible exhales out if you need to. <sighs> just releasing whatever tension and stress might be there for you. And just let your mind begin to clear out, letting go of your to-do list or whatever personal dramas might be happening. And just be here now in this present moment, focusing solely on your breath. And notice any thoughts that might persist and just let them pass through. Try not to attach to them or make a story out of them in this moment. Just let those thoughts pass by. And just imagine that on every in-breath, you are breathing in warm and nourishing bright light. It's just slowly filling every inch of your body, allowing you to expand, allowing you to relax, and just to enter into serenity and calm and peace of mind. Start to imagine that on every in-breath, you are breathing in things that serve you, things that fill your cup, positivity and abundance, creativity, confidence, generosity, innovation, faith, hope, love, allyship, kindness, patience, whatever it is you need more of, just imagine on your in-breath, we're calling that to you. And on your out breath, push away those things that are not serving you in this moment. Push away negativity, pessimism, limiting beliefs, negative thoughts, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, scarcity. So continuing to breathe in those things that serve you exhaling those things that do not. Just continue on in this cycle for a moment.
now start to let your breath transform and continue to breathe in those things that serve you. <clears throat> but now in your out breath, imagine that you're able to give back to the world, whatever it is you have to offer, your humor, your allyship, your kindness, your patience, your love, your creativity, your forgiveness, whatever you have to offer, just imagine on your out breath, you are giving back to the world and continuing to fill your own cup on your in breath. So just continue on in this cycle of giving and receiving, giving and receiving. And as you continue to breathe deeply, I want you to just do a, a body scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and just check in with how you're doing right now. Are you feeling grounded? Are you feeling relaxed? And just breathe into those places that might have some tension still or might be feeling pain or uncomfortable. Breathe deeply into those places and just continue to drop into your relaxation and into this present moment. In the next few moments, I'm going to guide you through visualization and keeping your eyes closed, keeping your breath deep, keeping your body relaxed. I just want you to go on this journey and try not to make sense of it or control it or censor it. Just see what your intuition, what your subconscious mind, what your creativity wants to reveal to you. And know that you never have to share what came up for you unless you choose to share it. So again, be very uncensored. I want you to call to mind a deadline, a deadline that at some point in your life you had to meet. Maybe this is a personal deadline, a personal goal of getting married and having kids by a certain point, or maybe arriving at a certain point in your career by a certain point. Maybe it's a, a deadline for a project or a work assignment. Any kind of deadline, just let that deadline surface to your memory right now. Maybe it's a deadline that you're facing right now and that's okay. It can be past or present. And as this deadline surfaces for you, just recall as many details as you can. When was this deadline for or when is it happening? Who else was involved? How old were you when this was happening? Where were you? Where were you living? What season of the year? Just let the details start to drop in so the memory becomes more and more clear to you.
And what feelings come up for you as you recall this deadline? Does it bring stress or tension or peace and control? What comes up for you as you think of this deadline? Notice your feelings. And notice where in your body you are feeling things as you recall this deadline. Is tension coming up for you? Are you feeling any tightness? Or are you feeling relaxed? Just check in with your body as you recall this deadline. <clears throat> And how much control do you feel you had or you have of achieving this deadline, of meeting this goal? Is a lot of it in your control? Does a lot of it feel outside of your control? Have you delegated a lot? Is it all on your shoulders? How much control do you have around this deadline? And have you called on help? Have you asked for assistance or support to meet this deadline? Or is it something that you're really trying to do alone or did do alone if this is in the past? And ultimately, did you meet this deadline? Or if it's still in front of you, do you feel like you're going to meet this deadline? What is the outcome or what do you anticipate the outcome is going to be? And as you reflect upon coming up to this deadline and the things that are taking place to get there, what have you learned? What are the takeaways? Are there things you would do differently? Do you feel good about how you handled everything coming up against this deadline? Have you changed and transformed because of it? What did this deadline do to you in terms of change, transformation, and awareness. Just take another few moments to be with this reflection upon your deadline. Just be with it for another few moments and see what else your subconscious mind or intuition or creativity wants to reveal to you about it.
And taking another deep breath in. And audibly exhaling out, coming back to this present moment, slowly opening our eyes. Just go ahead and reach for whatever it is you have to write with or write on. And I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes. And I just want you to write really freely about whatever came up for you, knowing you never have to share with the soul on this planet um, what you wrote. So be as uncensored as you can be. And um, you, write, you might want to write from first person narration, just a monologue about what came up for you. Maybe a scene comes up for you between people. Um, maybe you want to embody an inanimate object or a feeling and speak from their perspective or write a piece of poetry or song lyrics. Whatever you feel in inspired to write, go for it. And I'll let you know when your eight minutes are up.
think I have about three and a half minutes left, three and a half minutes. Just a little over a minute left. Okay, and please wrap up your writing. <clears throat> and if you wrote in a journal or scrap paper or something like that, I always encourage you to transcribe what you've written into a document on your computer so that it is somewhere safe and it's accumulating and hopefully turning into a solo show. Um, and if you feel inspired to share what you've written with someone else, um, feel free to share your information in the chat and um, meet you know, with someone later to um, share what you've written and be witnessed, or if there's someone in your life that supports your creativity and you can create that safe space with, and you want to share what you've written, I encourage that for sure, so that you can be witnessed in your creativity. Um, if you'll look in the chat, I put several announcements. We have a lot going on um, this month. So my next uh, free class, my free solo theater class, um, The Art of Creating the One Person Play, um, which I am doing on behalf of the LA Women's Theater Festival this month, um, because that's happening at the end of the month, which I will get to. Um, but all gender expressions are welcome to attend, but it is on behalf of the LA Women's Theater Festival. So that's happening on Saturday, March 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, um, completely free, um, no experience is necessary. Um, however, an RSVP is required. So just go to soaringsolostudios.com under events and free class 
You can also get there under the free stuff tab and just RSVP and you'll be sent an email with all the details. And if you have questions beyond that, you can email me. Um, also the March uh, intensive for creating captivating characters with um, soaring solo instructor, Heather Dowling is now um, entirely sold out. It's actually starting tonight, but we are now starting to take reservations for April. So the intensive is happening Wednesday nights, April 14th, uh, 21st and 28th from 7 to 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's just $149 for all three weeks. And it's a really deep dive into solo theater techniques, um, both um, writing from the perspective of your characters as well as performing from the perspective of your characters. And in solo theater, that is quite a unique and beautiful beast. So I'm gonna let um, Heather tell you a bit more about that. So Heather, let me spotlight you and unmute you. There you go. <laughs> I love how you called it a beautiful beast. That is such a perfect way to articulate it because it's magical and it takes something, right? So um, yeah, creative cap creating captivating characters, you guys, has been such a fun discovery for Jess and I to deliver to um, solo artists to help them um, discover new entry points to create and tell their stories. And we've seen remarkable uh, growth in terms of people's ability to bring performances to life. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, we literally have like people getting on the wait list for April already because March, March filled up really quickly. Um, and we're working really hard to have the course meet you where you're at. So if you're just beginning to put your ideas to paper and maybe you've done a few of these, but other than that, you're kind of like, I really have no idea what the character part of this is, then we'll meet you there. By the same token, if you're someone who's had a piece that you've been working on or even have performed, and you know that there's gaps in the delivery, like you know that there's more to it to deepen um, your connection to the story or your connection to the audience. It's something's just not as good as you'd like it to be. Um, we're gonna meet you there too. And we're gonna make sure that the curriculum um, up levels you from wherever you are. Um, it's just been a miracle to watch. Like I'm just, I'm kind of in awe actually of what can be accomplished even like in this format online. Um, in this in this world of solo performance that we're so committed to. So we would love to see you get on the list for April because eight, those eight spots go really fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Well said. Okay. Um, so yes, and also if you wanted to work with me one-on-one um, -on -one or in a power pair session or a small group session, or you're like, what are those things? I want to know more about it. Um, email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com and we can talk about coaching and what that might look like. Um, and also if you missed any days of isolate, meditate, create, and you wanna catch up or you wanna rewatch something and see what new things come up for you in the meditation, um, all 108 days are on my YouTube channel, which I've also included in the link. Um, it's under Jessica Lynn Johnson, Soaring Solo LLC on YouTube. And um, be sure to join next week as well on March 17th for the next IMC. And please feel free to uh, spread this link far and wide and invite people that you feel would get something out of this um, and would like creative community as well and to slow down on their Wednesdays. So please feel free to, to share the link and invite, invite your friends and your family. Um, and then we are in the last month of Solo Fest, although there's some rumors that it's going to get expanded into April. But um, as it stands now, we are in the last month of Solo Fest 2021. And there are eight more um, Soaring Solo shows that are happening. There's other shows as well, but in the Soaring Solo community, um, there's eight more performances happening in March. So please check out the lineup. Um, it's on my website, I included the link in the chat as well. And um, hopefully you're on my email chain. I always send email blasts about the upcoming shows and give you a little more of an inside scoop on what you'll learn from those shows, um, where you might resonate with those shows, those sorts of things. So um, be sure to check out that schedule and then the last bit of my announcements is that the LA Women's Theater Festival, which I mentioned earlier, is happening the final week of March. And there are a lot of women, um, not a lot, but several women from the Soaring Solo community were selected to um, showcase in the LA Women's Theater Festival this year, which is such an honor. So um, please uh, tune in for that as well. And you can get your tickets um, through my website as well. I also put that link in the chat. So. Um, please give your support to the arts right now. We need it. We need it. We need it. So thank you all so much for showing up today. I will leave the chat function on uh, for a little while longer um, after I jump off, just so that if you do want to continue um, chatting with one another, 
you may do so. Thank you so much and have a beautiful Wednesday. Bye.